Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best Hello, mans and sirs, and welcome to this week's WWE Raw Recap Show. I am Ronald Ray, your boy with a cornbread accent. A uh, few things we got to get to this week. Namely, the return of Logan Paul. Uh, also, some more build-up to the Money in the Bank premium event. Speaking of Money in the Bank, it sure would be money if you would do me a biggie and hit that subscribe button right now, if you're not a subscriber yet. Also, don't forget to like comment let me know how you feel other than that let's let her rip Kick it off this week's show is your and now the Miz is in. Uh, he was not too happy with the judgment day attacking Seth Rollins, but because he was going to be the one to answer the open challenge for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, so he laid out an open challenge to himself, and we, it's been a while since we got this, he wanted to challenge somebody right here, right now, and this match actually did happen right here, right now. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa came out, and the last time we seen these two, they were the best of buddies, but uh, Ciampa had other things in mind, he would kind of attack The Miz to the approval of the crowd. Uh, this match was all choppa until The Miz hit a DDT. A uh, little bit of back and forth. Ciampa would counter a double axe handle from the top rope with a knee. Then he would put it away with a fairy tale ending. A uh, pretty good match here, and it just seems like The Miz is playing Rip Rogers. Uh, kids, Google them, but short, sweet, uh, Rip Rogers was a territorial, uh, journeyman, and right now is Hustler Rip Rogers, uh, actually, you know, when he retired from in-ring career, Rip Rogers, he became one of the trainers at OVW, I think he had a hand in training, training Randy Orton, uh, Cena, Batista, uh, I think Brock also, and... Shelton Benjamin, so uh, nice little career for, for Rip Rogers. Uh, seems like it could be a character if you're catches a cheer interviews on YouTube or anything like, anything like that. Check it out. He's, he's he likes to say the F word a lot. Anyway, next. Next up was the Judgment Day. They came out and basically hopped. Okay, the next match of the evening is Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green against my favorite new tag team in the women's division, uh, Kaden Carter and Katana Chance. Uh, Chelsea Green and... Uh, Deville, they got things started, but like I said, my favorite tag team, Katana Chant or Katana Chance and uh Caden Calder, they impressed here. Kind of a short match here. 
Uh, good showing for those two. Pick up the win with a 450 uh, Hangman Net Becker combo. And uh, like I said, pretty good tag team moves here. Uh, showed a little bit, not too much. Like I said, tag team specialist. Uh, actually, I had a phone call at the time this match was on, so I didn't really hear the commentary. Hopefully, hopefully, they're emphasizing that these two ladies are tag team specialists. Uh, I think that's be, be the way to go with these two. Next up is a tag team match here. Shelton Benjamin, mentioned him earlier, being um, under that uh, Rip Rogers learning tree, and Cedric Alexander, uh, formerly known as you know two thirds of the Hurt Business, going up against In the Sheer, uh, Benjamin and Alexander, you know, put a jump on them, had an early advantage, but it didn't, wouldn't last long uh, as In the Sheer would commence to putting a whooping on them. Uh, they finish them off with the side slam, middle rope, elbow drop combination for the win. Um, it is what it is. Almost like a kind of pushing the end of share as uh, kind of a road warriors type. Quick matches, dominating wins, uh, ground and pound. Uh, like I said, kind of like the like I said, like the road warriors when they first started. Uh, of course, without the makeup. I guess they learned from their uh, ascension mistake. They got a couple of big guys uh, painting their faces. Kind of gave them a Road Warriors type push and it failed miserably. Um, didn't watch too much of them till they came up to the uh, to the main roster and I just like a lot of people when they, once they came up to the main roster definitely wasn't sold on them. Uh, kind of Next, we have Logan Paul. Yes, uh, the hometown boy comes in, uh, being you know doing a little babyface spot. You know, hey, you know this is my hometown. It's almost like we already seen this before, like a day or two to go, day or two ago. Can't really remember where. I'm not all that elite when it comes to memory. Anyway. Uh, he did turn heel in the crowd a little bit. He said, hey, you know, uh, got LeBron James, got Jerry the King Lawler and himself. They all became winners, but they all became winners by leaving Cleveland. Uh, this, that, that didn't set well. He also announced that he was going to be participating in the Money in the Bank match, uh, which did not sit well with the other six competitors who had to really, you know, earn their spot in the match. Uh, so they came out, uh, Ellie Knight came out, wrecked them on the microphone. Uh, they would all wind up brawling. Uh, Logan hit a dive. Good little introduction here of, uh, him being in the Money to Bank match. Again, you know, whoopee. Uh, he's all right. He's a video game wrestler. Um, uh, celebrity, whatever. That's just my opinion on it. Anyway, next. Next match of the night was probably my favorite match of the night. Uh, Matt Riddle against Ludwig Kaiser. And, man, these two guys can go. Despite what you may feel about, you know, Matt Riddle, he, uh, pothead, cokehead, uh, womanizer. Hey, who would, if you looked like him, who wouldn't want to, you know, take advantage of that? Uh, I'm pretty sure if we're all honest guys 90% of us would, would definitely say yeah you're right anyway hey if I'm wrong like I said leave a comment or if you want to be honest and say I'm right leave a comment like I said I'm a I'm a guy I love being told I'm right uh, <laughs> anyway good back and forth match here Kaiser did a great job getting heat worked on the leg uh, Riddle would come back, hit the boat, bro Derek for the win. Uh, of course, Gunther does not like this, so he came in, uh, worked on the leg some more, and left poor Riddle leading. So, looks like it will be Matt Riddle against Gunther. Uh, 
that will be that will be a match to watch because Gunther is another one of my uh, favorites lately. So next and next we have the Alpha Academy against the Viking Raiders. Uh, I do dig the Alpha. Care less about the Vikings. Uh, anyway, Eric and Gable started things out. Gable got the better of it. Otis came in. Uh, the two big horses tied it up. The crowd loved this one. Uh, Otis then would run over people. Uh, Maxine and Valhalla would get into it a little bit. Maxine with a perfectly good suplex. Uh, unfortunately, this would dis distract the Alpha Academy. Gable would eat the roll-up pin. Your winner. So this one was the Viking Raiders. So a uh, little switcheroo this time. You know, uh, the like I said, Gable got distracted and he got rolled up for it. So 50-50 stuff. It is what it is. All right, next up is Rhea Ripley versus Natalia. But, uh, you know, of course, Natalia, you know, gave an interview. She wants to prove to Rhea, the universe, and most importantly, herself that she belongs. But she didn't get too much of a chance here. Uh, as soon as she got on the ring apron during her entrance, Ripley would attack her, give her a pretty good whooping. Uh, of course, another one. Uh, this is like the second or third one Ripley's given her. And basically, this match didn't even get started. You know, she just... Beat, beat her up, threw her back in the ring, hit the riptide, and that's when the other officials came down and separated everything. So I think this is pretty much no contest, but the one definitely left standing was Rhea Ripley. Alright, next up is Trish Trash against Raquel Rodriguez. This is the final money in the bank for the women's qualifying match. Uh, my girl Raquel Rodriguez getting early advantage on Trish to dish. Uh, toss him around like a rag doll, but Trish would come back. Uh, Ra Raquel would close on her way back into this match until Zoe Stark trips her up. Uh, Becky Lynch comes out, sticks her nose in it, attacks Starks. Unfortunately, uh, this would get Ra Raquel Rodriguez disqualified. Uh, Trish Trash wins the match and the final spot of the man Money in the Bank. I don't think this set well with Raquel Rodriguez whatsoever. Uh, be funny how this turns out, I guess. Uh, if they're going to turn her and uh, have her be another student for Trish Stratus. If so, hey, thank you, Trish. Next. Now we have this semi main event Shinsuke Nakamura versus Bronson Reed. Uh, decent little match here, not too bad. Uh, Nakamura came in with the strikes. Bronson Reed with the power. Ricochet will actually get involved. Unfortunately, this will help Bronson Reed get the win after he hits the Tsunami Splash. Next. Now it was time for your main event. The Judgment Day. Dominic Mysterio, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest against Cody Rose, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn. Uh, of course, the Judgment Day had Mommy in their corner, Rhea Ripley. Uh, this thing starts out, Cody and Finn. Cody had a little bit of shine, but Finn came in, got the advantage. Tagged in Dominic Mysterio. Uh, <laughs> he would get a couple strikes on Cody Rhodes, then go hide behind Mommy. Uh, Got to give him a prop, props here. That's a, that's pretty good chicken shit healed stuff there. Uh, it, very entertaining. Uh, Priest and Zayn go at it. Judgment Day will get heat. Uh, KO made, made a tag. Uh, from there, it's just, you know, again, it felt like, you know, it's a six man, so that's three single matches and one match. Uh, you know, should be at least a tag team in there, you know, being Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are your undisputed Universal Tag Team Champions. Um, but in the end, it was Sami Zayn with his Aluva kick, Owens with a stunner, Cody Rose with crossroad, crossroad, crossroads. Uh, yes, they basically all hit their finishers on poor Dum Dum, and they would get the win. Uh, like I said, 
decent, good match here. I can't really complain about it. Kept me entertained. Uh, much hell I give Dominique, you know. He's kind of entertaining. Uh, I just would rather go another way with him, but as of right now, this works. Uh, I just know it's going to come a day where this is going to be done, and he's got to go on to something else, um, change things up. Hopefully, he realizes that. Hopefully, some of <laughs> the higher ups realize that. Uh, other than that, uh, let me know what you think. Like I said, if you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. Uh, thanks for listening. And that's it for me. You folks have a good one. Take it easy. We here at RP Tube Vision would like to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Also check out Friends of the